What does it mean to not be responsible for other people's feelings? So when it comes to relationships, a lot of times we are very much codependent with each other because you know what? As human beings, we want connection. And so we do want to give as much love as we can and at the same time set enough boundaries for us so that we don't get lost in the mix. But here is what happens usually when the when the relationship is too codependent of each other and one person is too strong for the other person. This is what it looks like. Imagine maybe you want to do something and so you try to tell the other person, this is what I want. Now, the other person can say, oh, I really love that. I will support you. I will be right here for you. And so this codependent relationship is balanced and loving. But what happens is if the other person doesn't like it, then they may use tactics like they may yell at you, scream. They may guilt trip you, make you feel like you are selfish. They may threaten that, okay, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to walk away. So they're going to be in this dominant position using all of their feelings, right? Um, anger, guilt tripping, um, um, I'm threatening to leave you, right? All of these threats. And so what happens is a lot of times what we do is like, oh, okay, since you don't like that, I'm not going to do it. So then this is how we say, okay, I'm going to change myself in order to take responsibility for your emotions so that you can calm down. It's like, oh, I, I, it's okay. I'm not going to do that. Just calm down. Or like, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be selfish. I won't do that again. Or please don't leave me so that you calm down. But in a way, you are also dependent on their change of emotion to make you feel better. So you are taking responsibility for their emotions. And you're also depending on them to comfort you so that they, you're depending on them to take care of your emotions. But what if this? So this is a codependent relationship. When I can separate you out into your own individual person and we can work through all the pain we can give you the courage to say, okay, well, if this is what I want, and if I can not be scared by your yelling, if I can um, not feel as guilty when you say shameful things to me, when I am not scared of you walking out on me and I can still love myself, I can still stand for myself, then they can yell, you're not gonna change, and they can intensify their emotions and then you can stand even stronger in yourself and you're not changing. And eventually they have to change in some way because it's not working anymore. So this is us not taking responsibility for their emotions because you know what? I can feel scared and I can decide how I can take care of myself. I may have to walk away from the room. I may um, just say, okay, well, he's very angry. Uh, this person is very angry right now, but I'm not, I'm not in danger, right? So I'm, I'm when I'm taking care of my emotions, I notice that, okay, fear is coming up, but it's okay, I have it taken care of and I can make decisions. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm feeling very guilty and it's okay. It's part of the feelings that I'm going to have, but I don't have to do anything to change them to change me. So this is all part of the self-development work so that we can stand a little bit stronger in ourselves. The moment we don't need, we don't need to cater ourselves to take care of other people's emotions, then the stronger we can stand for us. 
I know that I threw a lot of things at you, but this part of it is so interesting because all of this dynamic, we, we had it from our childhood. And so, of course, it's a lot of pain. It's a pain is a lot of healing that we have to do. But the when we can take on the responsibility to work on this on ourselves, then we're no longer bothered by other people's behaviors. I mean, we may be, be uh, bothered by it, but we can take care of ourselves in the vicinity of them throwing a tantrum. And we don't have to change who we are in order to um, to cater to them. And so this is how we navigate through spouse-spouse relationships. This is how we navigate through friend-friend relationships, our parent-child relationships, our, our relationship with our parents, and our relationship to our kids. So it's always interesting to me, and I love talking about this. So I just wanted to share this with you to make you aware of what's going on. Because the moment you recognize if you can, the easiest, easiest way for me to explain it to you is when you've worked on yourself enough, you will recognize it. It's kind of like watching yourself, your interaction with someone in a movie. And you can say, hey, when I did that, he, he or she did this. Ah, that's why I'm changing my way because she's been yelling or he's been yelling or he, she's been threatening or, and that's why, and I don't like that. So that I feel like I need to calm down that. I need to make them love me. I need to um, change who I am in order for me to, to make sure that they're okay. Ah, I see that. And that's the first step of self-awareness is the recognition. So that when we recognize it, there's nothing wrong. It's just how we have grown up. And so now we can take responsibility to stand a little stronger in ourselves. But always first thing is self-awareness. And so um, that's why on November 24th, we'll be talking about um, how to speak with confidence so that we can stop our parents from controlling us because part of it is that they have been trying to control us for so long, so long, so long and we've been catering to them because when we were young, we were not able to um, take care of ourselves. But now that we are adults, we can now say, okay, no more. This is not serving me. I need to make decisions for my own life. And so we're going to um, dive into that area and we can stand a little stronger for ourselves, for our family, um, and for, for our mental health. So it's on November 24th, we will be um, work, doing this workshop. I'm loving the fact that we are going to be talking about this. If you have any questions in regards to what I say, please let me know. You can put your question or your comment in the comment line or send me an email because I'm always so passionate in talking about these things. I may sometimes jump around a lot. Um, so if you're unclear, I would love for you to give me, um, ask me a little bit question, ask me a question so that I can dive a little bit deeper to answer your question. That's it for today. Thank you so much. I just want to let you know that I know how difficult this journey is, and yet you're not alone. I'm right here with you. So let's do this together.